Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program with me, Matthew, from the LG4L Gaming Network. Welcome to Episode 9. Today we fly for Minmus. That is the only mission I want to go for today. Achieve orbit around Minmus. So if you want to stick with me, stay here and find out if we succeed or not. I believe Jebediah will be in the cockpit today. I thought he was missing in action, but apparently not. Alright, all these settings are correct. Anyway, welcome along to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you're all well. If you liked the video, please add a comment or a like. Subscribe. Get everyone you know to subscribe. That'd be awesome. Thank you. What's going on with the camera here? Sure what? It's time for a Scott Manley impression. Hello everyone, this is Scott Manley and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be talking about all things Scottish and also a little bit about physics and space exploration. <laughs> what do you think guys? Any good or not? Me? Who cares? At least I tried, right? Alright, now. We have a bit of a problem with the game sound, but fear not. I'm here to lend a bit of entertainment to the game. Alright, observe Mr. Ryu. Do we get any information out of this right now? Eh, not really. Jiggles and wobbles. Ooh, I know what else jiggles and wobbles, but I shan't say it on the video. There could be kids watching, right? <laughs> Alright, yeah, there he is. There's little Jebediah down there. Alright. Yeah, cool, guys. I've been getting some good feedback on my videos. Some, uh... They seem to be quite popular, these um, tutorial videos. Are, they're kind of Let's Plays, really. I guess, for the most part, I'm not teaching you anything you don't know. I mean, some people have told me that uh, I've helped them a little bit with certain uh, contracts that you pick up in the game. But uh, for the most part, they're rather straightforward. Obviously, I haven't covered all of them yet, but I'm trying to cover as many as I can. But today, it's all about Minmus, and we're going up there. We're going to try and land there, get some data from around uh, Minmus, transmit data back, and basically, well, I don't think we'll be able to recover um, Jebediah, but at least if he can send back some useful data, maybe we can do a rescue mission at some point in the future. Who knows? I was thinking of coming up with a name for you guys. Should I call you Kerbonauts? Or my little LG Forellas? Nah, that's not good either. Yeah. Any, if you've got any suggestions... Let me know in the uh, in the comments box. Also, trying to think up like a tagline for the channel, you know, something catchy that I can introduce myself with. Uh, yeah. Anyway, just kind of speaking out loud here. If you got anything you wanna talk about? Hit me up in the channel. I'm always trying to um, answer your comments, queries, any new subscribers. I'm always sending a welcome message. So, yeah, let's just try and build a cool community here, guys. All right. We're flying to Minmus. Oh, nearly out of fuel. Arr, next stage. Wow, this stage ran out fast. Can we actually get to Minmus? That's what I'm worried about. We've got to get 75,000 meters on this flight engineer thing over here. All right, roughly, that'll do. We haven't got to, but this is kind of my general rule of thumb. Let's add a maneuver here. What's the periapsis say there? That's way too low. There we go. That's flipped. Beautiful. If you've been watching all my videos from way back when, then you'll uh, be able to understand exactly what I'm doing with creating these maneuvers. If you haven't, go back and check them if you want. If not, hopefully you can pick up what I'm doing from the video. And if and if you still can't pick it up, please ask, and I'll uh, I'll give you some advice. You know, talk talk to me on the, the comment section. It's all good, or you can email me at L O L P L A Y A S at gmail dot com. All right, let's commit to our next burn now. This is going to create our orbit around Kerbin, and there is Minmus set as our target now. All right, that's actually got a bit of an angle of inclination to it. If you if we look this way, we can see the line where Minmus is uh, orbiting Kerbin. It's at a funny angle. A diff well, not a funny angle, but a different angle to what we're orbiting at. Now, if we'd have planned our mission properly, we could have probably achieved the same uh, inclination. But we didn't, so, I mean, it's not really a big issue. We can correct that once we're up. It just requires a bit more fuel. So let's continue to get to our circular orbit around Kerbin. What do you think, guys? Will I be able to achieve this particular mission, or will I fail? If any of you remember my streams from the old days, when I used to fail regularly. I wonder what you're thinking. Can Matt do it? Or can't he? I'd be curious to know what you think. 
anyway, let's go ahead and create our little uh, our little maneuver here. I am recording live, ladies and gents, so forgive me if I need to concentrate briefly while I line up where we need to be in order to get our encounter. Ooh, there's a nice one. Slow down a little bit. Speed this up. And there it is. There's a nice encounter requiring 906 delta V. That's actually not too bad. We'd have to go far around in orbit to get to it. There we go. Commit to the burn. Dun, 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 dun. Let's have a little look at our rocket. Check if all systems are good. Maybe we'll do a little bit of observing of the mystery goo. Hello, goo. Is there anything in there? Oh, see, there is. Let's beam it back. Transmit. We only get three, but that's, I don't think it really matters. I mean, every little bit of research data helps. For the sake of Kerbin Kind, we must conquer our local galaxy, or at least our local solar system. Excuse my terminology. What a twat. <laughs> All right, we're nearly there. There we go, just speed up a little bit more. There it is, there's our approach. Nice. All right, get rid of that. Now we can speed up the time in order to get within reaching distance of Minmus. Whoa, whoa, that went a bit fast on me. <whistles> Gotta be careful when you're speeding up time. Sometimes you can do it way too quickly. Alright, I wonder what our little encounter is going to be like. Hopefully it's a good one. Didn't uh, take too much care. Obviously, if uh, you're doing it, you can take much more care than what I'm doing. That's actually a really close approach. Look at that. Nice, 78,000 meters above it. Sweet. All right, now let's go ahead and create our next maneuver then. Drag this one this way. And do, 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 do. get that nice little orbit around it. Only requires a burn of 177, which is actually really good because I've still got 2,658 delta V left. And I know that because it says it right here on this flight engineer equipment. Um, please download that if you're struggling with you know, planning your missions, if you're not sure if you've got enough fuel to get where you want to go, that's a really valuable resource right there. So yeah, curse.com forward slash Kerbal Space Program, and uh, you can find all the mods you want in there. Uh, as usual, the link will be in the description. Here we go, nearly at our burn time. Burn! Whoa, camera going weird. No, that was me dragging it. Nope, my me, I'm just being a goof. Right, drag that round. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, there we go. Nice. That's actually not a bad little orbit. We still got loads of fuel left. Cool. All right. So when we are around about there, you always want to try and land on the light side of a planet because if it's not the light side, then you're going to really struggle on you know your ascents, your descent speed. Sorry to the surface and yeah, just just try and land on the light side. If you've ever messed up a mission by trying to approach the dark side, then you'll know what I mean. You can probably see me do it in one of my videos. I definitely did it in a lot of the streams I did. <laughs> Alright, let's get to our burn point. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's go and have a look. Actually, if we get some data from above here, we'll be able to beam that back and meet one of the criterias of our contract. We've already achieved the orbit around Minmus. So let's go ahead and beam some scientific data back. A crew report. Here we go. You know, I might do a little EVA while I'm up while I'm up here. What do you think, Jeb? Is this cool? Yeah, I'm loving it. Look at me. You've got me stuck outside this rocket. I might die at any moment. What are you doing to me? All right, Jeb, don't panic. I'll get you back in. There you go, mate. All right. All right. Let's change our camera. Camera is now free. Beautiful. Just press V if you want to change your camera. You've got uh, orbital camera, chase camera, auto, and free. Pretty helpful if you're struggling uh, to see where your ship's going. There we go. I'm just going to do a little bit of a burn here to reduce our orbital speed across the surface. Basically, what that will do, by reducing our horizontal speed across the surface, uh, basically what that will do is... Uh, make us stationary over the planet and then what little gravity there is will gradually drag us down uh, so you can pretty much land directly below where you're hovering over so it's it's a pretty useful thing to do uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jettison that part of my rocket now I'm gonna go ahead and open the legs because I'm 
as I said, I'm recording live, so I uh, could have some issues with remembering everything. All right, here we go. Let's speed up the engine now so we start descending quicker. Doo -doo. Press F5 to do a little quick save. Don't want to mess this up at this crucial juncture. If I mess it up, then I'll be a right plonker, won't I? God damn it, here we go. We're coming down to the surface now. How low are we? Auto saving, I don't trust you. Alright, we're coming down quite slowly. <gasps> oh, we haven't activated that stage. There we go. Activating it now. Beautiful. Let's just burn off most of that speed and increase our speed of descent. Now, the gravity of Minmus is really low. Uh, actually, my brain's working really fast today. I'm, I'm probably talking too quickly for my own brain as well. <laughs> But uh, what I wanted to say was, these planets they've created are actually, they're really interesting in the sense that, you know, they have their different atmospheres, their different attributes, and um, gravity, you know, gravity forces and stuff like that. So they've tr really um, cr made them quite variable, which is realistic, you know, so I, I found uh, that's a really cool thing they've done. I, they've done a great job with this game, and it's still in early release, 0 0.24, so only going to be better things to come. All right, how low are we? We should gradually start to see a shadow, but we're not, so I'm going to have to do this by eye. Reduce our speed and line it up with the retrograde little marker there. And we're nearly landing. Come on, there's our shadow. Woohoo! And we've landed. Yes, I've landed. I'm a king, a hero among my people. Oh god, is the rocket gonna fall? Don't you dare fall on me! Don't you fall on me! Stand up straight, will you? It's like in school when you're a kid. Stand up straight. That's it. There we go. Jebediah, what you saying, boy? I'm great. I'm just gonna get off the rocket and climb down to the surface. Alright, let's observe. No, we can't observe the mystery view while we're here. We actually did it, though, ladies and gentlemen. First time. Live recording. Oh, hell yeah. Wow, look at the surf. Look at the, um. What do you call it? The gravity. Look at that. That's a good little shot right there. All right. Do an EVA report. 40 science. Awesome. Keep the data. You feel a bit like a superhero when you jump in low gravity. Yeah. All right. Take. Uh, you sneak a taste of the surface sample. Nope. It definitely is not made of delicious dessert products. Dude, why would you eat this stuff? It doesn't look anything like a dessert. Anyway, get on me a job, Mr. Jebediah Kerman. Kerbinauts. Kerbinauts. That's it. Plant your flag. All right. Min. Miss. Landing. Career. YouTube. That'll do. Just so I know what it is. Nice one. Activate rockets. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, God. He's taking off. Uh, uh, crap. Uh, saved him. All right, boy. Get inside and beam me back some useful data. Transmit. Review stored data. Transmit. And this is going to enable us to complete the entire contract. And we're going to get loads of money for our little Kerbinaut, uh space program. So yippee. All right, what else we got here? All right, let's observe the mystery goo. We might even be able to return. We've still got a Delta V of 2078. You know what? I'm really going to try and return. That's going to be so cool. Do another crew report, boy. Keep the data. Might as well keep this video going, eh? All right, so I'm going to make him get out again. Uh, EV8. There we go. That's the button we need. Da, 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 da. Space, let go. Whee! I'm flying. My name is Jebediah. I come in pieces if I crash. <laughs> Good job, Jeb. Moonwalking on me. All right. Let's take another surface sample. Keep that. Do an EVA report. Ah, there's nothing to read there. Don't need to plant another flag. All right, Jeb, get back to the rocket. Wee. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're going to knock the rocket over. We're taking off. Oh, God, don't go out of the atmosphere, Jeb. Ah! Oh, slammed him into it. Oh, God. That's it. Oh, don't knock the equipment off, boy. All right, get inside. And escape, Minmus. Off we go. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We actually achieved our mission without failing. Ha <laughs> ha! Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! 
guys? Whoop. All right, how high are we going here? Oh, God. Wow, that really is escaping. All right, keep going, boy. Keep going. We want to get into the gravity. There we are. We're in the gravity of Earth already. Or Kerbin. Damn it. Not Earth. Fly rocket. I'm just speeding up the engine now so we get into orbit around Kerbin. Whoop, whoop. All right, cool. Now we create a maneuver. So we do a little retrograde burn here. That drags us in close to the surface. I'm going to do it, I think, about there. It should be good. Only requires a delta V of 236, and we've got 1,800 left. This would be epic if I can do a return mission. All right, speed up time to get to our node in T time. One hour and a half now, ticking down fast. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, God, don't miss it. Rawr, fire up the engine. There we go. Now you can see our orbit dragging in closer to the center circle there, which is Kerbin. We're going to save you, Jeb. You're going to be alive, boy. Not going to kill you. And dragging in closer. And there it is, roughly. Is that good enough? Let's see. What's going on here? Get rid of our maneuver node. Oh, God. Is that dragging us back into it? speed up see what's going on here no think we're good think we're good let's see zoom out I don't want to lose you in space Jeb I can't bear to lose you ah! oh god we flip round <laughs> we flip round the planet might have to do another orbit here and this we can drag it back in uh, like so we just want it to land on the light side that's the only thing there we go that looks kind of light Right. There it is. And we need a Delta V of 591. Come on, Jeb. You're coming back to me, boy. I'm never going to lose you again. I promise. Uh, da, 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 da. Burn! Come on, Orbit. So he's traveling this way, right? Yeah, because we shot round. He's going round there. Okay, good. Sometimes you can lose your bearings. Like, what's clockwise and anti-clockwise when you can rotate the camera freely like this? You know what I mean? So, yeah. Come on, Jeb. Come on, power up that engine. And what happened there was it sort of gave us a slingshot effect, which you can actually use to your advantage. But in this case, it sped me out around the planet, and now I'm having to fight against it in order to save my little Kerbin. There we go. That looks good enough. Okay, cool. Save my little Kerbal, sorry, not Kerbin. Duh. There we go. Come on, we need to bring back all this valuable data. How high are we now? Look at this, this is sweet. Oh, I've still got the legs engaged. Close the legs. <laughs> oh, I didn't even observe the materials bay while I was on there either. That's a bit of a mistake, but we can keep this 21.1 science. That's good. All right, now at some point here, we're going to enter the atmosphere of Kerbin. And that's going to be cool. I love, I love the flame effects. I like to imagine Jebediah is like, yeah, help me, I'm gonna burn. But nah, he's not really. I got you, Jib. Don't panic. Ah, I've just noticed something on my staging process here. If you're copying my rocket exactly, which you're probably not, the decoupler to land the mini black uh, command module, command pod here, was gonna uh, be activated after the parachute. That's not what I wanted, so. There we go. I wonder if we can land this whole thing. It looks pretty heavy, but. I don't know. Maybe we can. Let's see. We need to see at what speed we're going to be uh, hitting the ground because we might be able to aid ourselves with a bit of um, with a bit of uh, thrust as well. So let's see, coming down fast, but not too fast. All right. You know what? I might need to open that parachute manually. I'm not exactly sure here. Uh oh, Jebediah, I don't want to kill you, man. We're going to bring you back alive. It's been an epic journey. Deploy the parachute. There it is. Come on, Jeb. We got this. How slow is this going to enable us to descend, though? That's the thing. 12 meters per second. It'll probably break everything if I land at that speed. Power up the rocket. All right, that's giving us a bit more of a slower descent. Speed up the engine. And we landed, but everything blew apart. Um... Can we recover all that data? Not sure, but 
Jebediah, we've got you back, boy. You're alive. Just show the people that you're still alive. Here I am. Here I am again on my own. I'm swimming in the lake. I know that is not my own. It's actually the ocean. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That was a bit of a crazy episode, but we did it. We did what we wanted to. So anyway, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already.